Hello everybody, this is Drinking Up back for the first mini tournament of 2022. And it'll probably be, well, it won't be the last one, I'm sure I'll do others, but yes. We have done six tournaments, mini tournaments so far. We have done fire, secret, water, earth, grass and wind. So I'm sure you can guess that this one is going to be a lightning tournament. Ooh, we're getting electrical here. We're going this is a tournament that will shock you all to the core. So if you're looking forward to that, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on the epic matches which we are going to do. Well, we are going to sort out the matchups for this tournament. So yes, it's a 24 team tournament. Knockout format for those of you that are new. Since there are 24 combatants, we are going to have the unfortunate problem of being reduced to three. So the three left standing will compete in this lovely table thing here and whoever gets the most points will win the tournament overall so that will define our top three when we get there right let's go through the combatants real quick so up first we have a stracosaurus so yes stracosaurus with defense boost lightning spear and light recovery Strac trying to use moves that these guys used in the anime the biggest issue is that literally apart from taurosaurus and, well, you could argue Stracosaurus. None of the other lightning dinosaurs had lightning moves. And in fact, most of them didn't even have a move in anyway, in general. But yes, there's Stracosaurus with his defense boost, light recovery, and lightning spear. Can, can they win it for the golds? We have Pentaceratops up in second there with uh, Tail Smash, Gatlin Spark, and Triple Headbutt. We have the gold rare Triceratops, the orange Triceratops, the one that I found hidden in the co code of the game. Okay, as for our silvers, we got Pachyrhinosaurus, Ankyceratops, Ankyceratops, a fan favourite there on the Discord server, and Taurosaurus. Could Taurosaurus do well? Oh, we also have a Rhinoceratops. Oh, wait, no, no, no. These two are the silvers. We're moving on to the bronzes. So, for the bronzes, we have Taurosaurus, a Rhinoceratops, and Albertoceratops. Don't really see much hope for the bronzes, I'm afraid. So, the regular guys now, so we have the Chasmosaurus. It featured in my recent tournament and it was quite effective. We have the OG Triceratops and we have the the um, dubious genus that is Diceratops, which no longer exists, and Erdanoceratops. Following on from that, we have Eucentrosaurus, basically a whole army of Centrosaurids with Eucentrosaurus, the OG Centrosaurus, and Monoclonius, which are pretty much all basically Centrosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's like when paleontologists discover these horned dinosaurs. It's like, oh, oh, the crest is different. It's a new species. Combatants. So, okay, we have Achillosaurus, which has attack burst because this guy actually has a move in the anime. Inosaurus. Inosaurus. These thousanders could be, good, could be ones to watch. We have the Brachyceratops, which is probably going to suck. And Zuniceratops could... Well, we saw Sejuangosaurus win the win tournament. Can one of these guys win the lightning tournament? Oh yeah, we got Mini King as well. <laughs> right, now for some Alpha Dinosaurs. So we have Alpha Chasmosaurus and Alpha Inusaurus. And well, we, all, we have to have Chomp, of course. And Maximus. And that is all of our combatants. So, who do you think is going to win this tournament? Pop a comment down below. Who do you think is going to win? Who do you think is going to surprise people? And who do you think is going to suck? Right, that should be easier for me now, so I've, num I've actually numbered them all for once. <laughs> right, let's get started, shall we? We will start with number 12. Ooh, that's Erdanoceratops. And Erdanoceratops is going to feature in the first matchup of this tournament. Who will his opponent be? Number 7. Ooh, it's a Rhinoceratops. So we, we will have Erdanoceratops going up against a Rhinoceratops. Two of the more... Outsider lightning dinosaurs here. Could be an interesting match. Right, we'll drop this to 20. Actually, we'll keep it at 24. Okay, so that's number 20. So that is Mini King. Will Mini King be a fan favourite in this tournament? Probably not, because a lot of people don't really like it. But, it. but can it do well anyway? We'll have to see. Ooh, he's going up against Maximus. Ooh, a tough match that could be. I'm sure everyone will be rooting for Maximus to win. <laughs> so we have Mini King going up against Maximus. Right, moving on. Number six. Ooh, we got El Toro. We have the Taurosaurus. Going up against... It'd be fitting if it went up against a Triceratops, wouldn't it? 
21. Well, it's not going up against a Triceratops. It's going up against Alpha Ainosaurus. Mm, both of these have very high crits, so this that could be a very quick match if they if they both land crits. Right, moving on, we are on. Well, we have we've had number six, number sixteen. So Achillosaurus, Achillosaurus, a pretty cool, kind of like a uh, primitive Pachyrhinosaurus, if I'm honest. Actually, looks more like a Pachyrhinosaurus than the Pachyrhinosaurus does. <laughs> Weird, isn't it? Anyway, its opponent's going to be number 13. So it'll be up against one of the Centrosaurus brothers, Eucentrosaurus. Ooh, it could be interesting. A clash of the 1200s there. Eh? Okay, we are on. Well, we've had number 7. Number 18. So we have the Brachyceratops. General Brachy reporting for duty there. Can, can, he, can he follow Sejuangosaurus' footsteps and win a tournament? Ooh, oh, he's up against a, one of the other Centrosaurus brothers. It's Monoclonius. So, Cent Brachyceratops going up against Monoclonius. And I might be losing my voice because I think I'm coming down with something. Right, let's move on, shall we? Well, we've had 16, we've had 7, number 21, we've had number 17. Ooh, Ainiosaurus, the regular one. Wow, this is an interesting bracket. All the, like, lesser dinosaurs are getting picked so far. We haven't had any golds or any silvers yet. We haven't had anything up here. It's all been down this row. Okay, so it can't be, can't be 21, 14. Ooh, the OG himself, it's Centrosaurus. Wow. Like, we've got basically all the weaker lightning dinosaurs up here. Yeah, basically, yeah, that's base a few bronzes, but yeah. No golds, no silvers. They're all going to be on this row. Very, very interesting. Right, let's see who will be where. There we go, slightly updated it now so we don't get too many rep repetitions. So, left over we have, well, basically everything on this top row. Zuniceratops, Alpha Chasmo, and Chomp. So let's see who goes where. So it's number 10, so Zuniceratops getting picked. Can he follow his purple predator counterpart, Sejuangosaurus, in winning a tournament, or will he suck? And for those of you that did not see it, make sure to check out my Zuniceratops challenge video. I'll pin it up above for you all to see where I beat Goma with this kebab. Maybe, well, I've kind of given it away now. <laughs> oops a daisy I get carried away. Right, moving on. Ooh, so it's Di Diceratops, the dubious genus, the dinosaur that no longer exists. Right, next up we have, ooh, Alberta Sarah. We still have nothing up here, no golds, no silvers yet. They're all going to be bunched together at this rate. So we have Alberta Ceratops. We'll be taking on the Alpha Chasmosaurus. Ooh, that's probably the first big matchup we've had. Like, two actual, like, kind of heavyweights. We've got a bronze taken on an alpha. Very interesting matchup that could be. And our first silver being drawn. Right, let's see if we can actually get something here. Okay, we've had number nine. Oh, finally! Finally we get a gold! It is Starachosaurus. So Starachosaurus finally being picked. His opponent is going to be... Number seven. Ooh, the Chasmosaurus. Chasmosaurus. We all remember how effective Chasmosaurus was in my tournament to whoever used it. Will it be effective in this tournament? It could be one to watch. Okay, then. Let's see. Number six. We've had number six. Number seven. We've had number seven. We've had number seven. We've had number one. Okay, finally we get a number we haven't had yet, and that's number 8, so it's the OG Triceratops. The default dinosaur in this entire game. And his opponent is going to be... Ooh, it's going up against Pentaceratops. So, yeah, as, as I suspected, all the golds are going to be bashed up against each other. So we could see Storacosaurus going up against Penta in the next round, provided they win their first matches, of course. Right, we have four dinosaurs left to group, so we have the Orange Triceratops, Pachyrhinosaurus, Anchiceratops, and Chomp. So I'll just drop this down to four. 
Let's see who goes where. Ooh, Chomp getting drawn. So, we are going to see Chomp. We are going to see Chomp go up against... Ooh, oh, this is going to be interesting. It's going to be Chomp going up against the Orange Triceratops, which is basically Chomp. And, if my logic is right, that will leave a clash of the silvers between Pachyrhinosaurus and Ankyceratops. So, let's see who goes first. Okay, so it's Pachyrhinosaurus going in first, and his opponent, as I said earlier, is going to be against Ankyceratops. Ooh, wow. Look at that bracket down there. That is insane bracket. All the golds and the silvers are down here. Well, except for Chasmosaurus. But this lot up here look a lot, looks a lot kinder. But then you get the real heavyweights all down in the bottom row, pretty much. Okay, let's look at each bracket individually, which is this one. This one's probably the most open one. Like, could Maximus follow Armatus's footsteps and win their, win their respective tournament? You know, it's got a good chance. Given the bracket they're in, it's, Maximus has a decent, actually has a decent chance of making it all the way in. As I said, you get to the top three, you've got a chance of winning the whole thing. Well, this bracket could be enticing. You've got the two golds at the bottom there. I'm sure Pentaceratops and Storacosaurus will probably be the odds-on favourite to get here. And then, well, down here, I would suspect, again, the winner in, in this bracket will probably be one of these four. I don't see any one of these guys winning it. But, you know, I said that during a win tournament, and what happened? Sejuangosaurus won. So, yeah, that is our matchup for the Lightning Assault Tournament. So, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you're looking forward to these upcoming matches and until then this is stranger gamer signing out